Hi, Leo. It's me, Alex, and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot reading. I hope you guys are doing well. Let us see what God, Angels, and Universe has for you, Leo. You got to get that devil off the bottom of the deck. Okay. Who is being guarded? Mm, three of Wands. It's almost like your, your intuition or your spidey senses are telling you to be aware of somebody. Um, uh, some of you guys may feel like maybe somebody's trying to steal from you. That's a weird message, but I'm going to put it out there because it may help one, one person. I feel like there's a level of discomfort in a situation. It's almost like you're waiting for somebody to reveal their true colors or you're waiting to see, waiting for somebody to open up. Um, Angels just also said to you, you're waiting to see somebody's uh, pure intentions or full intentions. And I kind of feel like without that, you're not going to proceed. Brought his ass out here anyway. Yeah, angels are saying you're seeing red flags. Yeah, there we go. With the Eight of Cups on the Eight of Wands. Yeah. Ooh, look at the Three of Wands and the double placement. Somebody made a crappy first impression is what I'm hearing. Angels are also saying too, you could be dealing... <laughs> Sorry, I had to pause. You could be dealing with somebody who either doesn't have a car or has car issues. And that's turning you off. That's like I said, one or two of you. Um, that's what you're waiting on. You're waiting to see if this person is going to, how can I say this? If they're going, if you're going to see their kind of quote unquote value, like you're waiting to see what they're bringing to the table. Angels are also saying too, some of you guys are waiting to see if this person is really single, single. That's what it is. That's what it is. I, okay. Whomever this is, it feels like they're very limited on time. They don't come to see you that much. They're always making excuses. They always have to cancel. And for you, Leo, that is a big red, big fat red flag. Okay. I feel like a lot of you guys are on the verge of cutting this person off. Yeah, it feels like somebody made a horrible first impression with you or just a horrible impression. You're not doing anything now because your person to an extent could be MIA. Holy hell. This is crazy though, because with the three of wands and the double placement, it's almost like you guys are waiting for the other one to make a, make the first move. That's so weird. Ooh, that's so weird. How are you going to be MIA waiting for that? Oh, cause you want to be chased. Aha. Your person does want to be chased Leo. Good luck trying to get a Leo to chase you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let me know how that works out. Whether it's a Pisces or a Virgo, Cancer, Capricorn, let me know how that works out. Because Leo ain't chasing Leo. Will drop your ass off and be like, good luck. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I felt your energy, Leo. I'm sorry. I felt your energy. Oh, but the three of wands. And now you got the three of wands here t three times. That's the nine of wands. So that just says to me, this shit is hard. Like, it's almost like nobody's willing to budge. I don't feel like this is ego, right? I don't feel like this is ego and pride. I just kind of feel like somebody, these red flags caused you to stop. They saw you stop, so they stopped. Now you guys are both looking at each other, trying to figure out is if either one is gonna start again. Because you have somebody who's going within or, you know, keeping to themselves, not really talking, not really showing much. And then you got somebody who has a, a upside down perspective. All right, let's see what these clarifiers have to say. I feel like you guys should have a conversation, even if the conversation is just to call it right. Like, oh, it's not working out. You know, he's not meeting my expectations, you know, whatever, whatever. Yeah, what's six of wands, four of wands? Why y'all bring y'all ass out here? Yeah, somebody's gonna have to make a decision. Cause you guys, it kind of feels like you guys are, are um, how do you call that? Like you've called a truce and you guys are both seeing 
I don't feel like it's a truce. I don't, I'm not comfortable with that term truce, but I feel like you guys basically went back to your separate corners and you're waiting to see what the other one is going to do. You're waiting to see what the other one is going to do. If the other one is going to step up and attempt to bring this thing back online. You got two movement cards here, right? And you have the four of wands. Yeah, well, you're looking to see if this somebody, this person is worth your, worth your time. I feel like there is going to be a break. Mm, no, mm -mm. I was going to say, I feel like there's going to be a break in communication. Angels paused me and said, no, I feel like this is just going to dud out. I don't, I don't, I don't feel like you guys are going to work this out. I feel like, you know, you may give them an allotted amount of time, right? And then you're going to, you're going to head on down the hill. You go, you're going to head on out. Leo. Cause here's the thing. I kind of feel your energy in that. Yo, if you like me, if you're interested in me, why are you not doing the things to show me that inter interest? Cause I feel Leo, that's exactly what's not happening in this situation, right? Um, whether this is you or your person who's up in their head about you, I kind of feel subconsciously, not from any card on this table, I feel like your person doesn't think they're good enough for you. That kind of came up when I was talking about them having car issues and that was a red flag. If you're dealing with somebody who is at a different place in their life than you are, especially financially, I feel like this person doesn't feel good enough for you. And I feel like they're trying to kind of quote unquote scurry away or, you know, kind of, um, it's almost like they, they feel like, you know, that they, that, you know, they're not good enough for you. So it's almost like they're just looking forward to just kind of quote unquote die out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're afraid of what you think of them. Whatever this situation was, right? The, the car broke down. They keep, you know, they keep canceling because they can't find babysitters. Whatever that was, they feel that's what changed your impression of them, right? That's what changed your impression of them. Not only that, the judgment card is here. But I also have the Herman. I felt I feel like they feel like you've already judged them. And they feel like they can't recover from that. Now, every time I talk about that, I'm like, but wait a minute, we got the chariot and the six of wands. Both of these cards represent moving forward positively. And I think you will. Maybe just not with this person. Sorry, I had to say it. I don't know. I don't feel I don't think I could be completely wrong. It's just a general reading. I don't know if you're going to move forward with this person. And here's the thing. I don't know if I think you, I think it makes a difference, you know, especially if it's a car issue, right? Cause it's like, yo, I'm not going to always be coming to pick you up. Right. So that's important, but I really do feel like you would work with them in this situation. But the problem is, the problem is I don't really feel like they're being upfront with you. And that's causing you to be guarded or, you know, self-protect, you know what I mean? And they're just stuck in their head because to them, you know, again, it's that, I'm not going to say inferiority complex that they're dealing with, but it's that poor self-image that they have. You know what I mean? That, yo, I don't even know why I started talking to Leo because I can't be what she wants or I can't be what he wants. Ooh, child. Hold your vision. That's what this four of wands is. You know, you deserve better. It's four of wands with the eight of cups. Leo, if this is not it, this is not it. Mm, cups. Where are my cups at? Eight of cups. Eesh. You got, I don't feel like there were pretty substantial feelings. There could have been, but I don't feel it. But hold your vision is don't, don't settle. End of a tough cycle approaches. Okay. Um, end of a tough cycle is for those of you who you didn't just meet this person. You might've been married or in a relationship with this person. And it kind of feels like they just can't get it right. They just can't get on their feet. And this could be you guys just calling it. Yeah, a lot of wands in this reading. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you got a lot of wands. I just noticed that. 
everything is at a standstill. And you know, the three threes is the nine of wands, right? Nine of wands represents perseverance and, but also at the same time being burnt out. And I feel like that nine of wands is both of you guys collectively. You're tired of waiting for them and they feel like they're just wanting to give up. And for a lot of you guys, they might have given up. A win-win outcome is forecasted. Prosperity lies ahead. I'm so sorry, Leo, but I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I feel like this thing has run its course. Let me just say that. I feel like this thing has run its course. And I feel like you gave it the old college try, you know, and it's weird because at the beginning we have the high priestess with the nine of pentacles. You guys feel like you're about to be single, right? You feel like, um, you may need to be better. You may be better on your own is what I'm hearing. High priestess is cancer. This is Libra. This person could have a cancer sun, Libra moon. Capricorn Sun, Cancer Sun, Scorpio Sun, Virgo Sun, Pisces Sun, Aries and Scorpio Sun. Sun as in sun sign. All right, Leo, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Angels just said Leo didn't show up in their reading. Holy crap. Yeah, you're not here. Which means you're, you, look, you checked out of your reading and you checked out of your relationship. Leo, I love you to pieces. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Bye.